it's just a deep ache is what it is. I went to the chiropractor, I did massage therapy, we changed our mattress, I threw out old shoes. It just got to the point that I can't, I can't do this anymore. My name is Mary Weigel, I'm 57 years old. I'm scheduled next week to have my left hip replaced with Dr. Lindsay at Southwest Health. I've been seeing Mary for several years dealing with hip arthritis. Her hip pain and limp have gotten significantly worse, and it wasn't until her last visit with me when she decided she was ready for hip replacement surgery. I quit bowling because I couldn't do it. My garden was smaller last year. I think my kids have even shied away from asking me to, hey, can you watch the kids? Because they know I can't do it. I can't keep up with them. Just even the general chores around my house. I gotta do so much and then I gotta sit down. I'm too young to have a sedentary life. When I went to see Dr. Lindsay about the hip replacement, I just felt very encouraged after speaking with him about the process. I recommended an anterior hip replacement for Mary, so not only will I be able to restore Mary's leg length and offset, patients who have an anterior hip replacement recover faster and have no precautions postoperatively. When I walked out of the office that day, I just felt relieved. I'm doing this. I texted all my, my kids and they're like, yay, finally mom. <laughs> To perform an anterior hip replacement, it takes a team of people and a lot of hospital resources. At Southwest Health Center, we have these resources and we have an excellent team that's been working together for years to make these surgeries successful. Because of the deterioration of my hip, my left leg was shorter than my right leg, so along with limping because of the pain, I was also limping because my leg was shorter. And so with the surgery and the new equipment they have out at Southwest Health, they were able to lengthen my leg to even it up with my right leg. And so there's no more imbalance. The next thing was waking up in recovery thinking, it's over. By that evening, I could walk with a walker to the bathroom. It was the next morning when the therapist got me out to the hallway and walked down to the end of the hallway with the walker and back. Within a week, the walker was taken away. Recovery after a anterior hip replacement is fairly quick and predictable. Because the fear of dislocation is not there, patients are focusing more on restoring their normal gait without a limp and working on muscles that they haven't used in years secondary to their arthritis. I'm not gonna say that there wasn't, you know, some pain, you know, there, there was, but it's, but the hip pain was gone that I had been experiencing for a long time. It has been six months since I've had my total hip replacement surgery. It just is amazing that in no time, you're back to doing things that you haven't done for a long time and want to do things because now I can. You might get a little achy here and there, but you don't have any of that pain that I had prior to having hip replacement surgery. I can't believe my energy level, how that I've gotten my energy back because everything was such an effort to do before. It's a miracle every day to wake up and go, wow, I can do what I want to do. We've been out golfing, we've been on vacation, walking, I mean, pain-free and going at a good clip. When I see people struggling at walking and, and getting around, it's just like, oh my goodness, just go and get it done. I have my life back.